Hey guys, so this is going to be a completely different video. Um, I'm not one of those guys, but if you are, if you're one of the fan lovers out there, this video is for you. I'm showing you the inside of a nicely built Rowenta Turbo Silence fan. And I heard these are one of the best fans you could get. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I would say around like 60 bucks for this. But luckily I know what I'm doing. The model number is a uh, VU2531. And these are supposed to be better than the other ones. Um, I'm not, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not sponsored by Rowenta in any, any way. So I um, just want to show you what, how, what the inside of an oscillating fan looks like. So this is, it actually works pretty simple. Um, you can see this huge, huge AC motor right there. It actually has two s sides that operate. Fronts for the blades, of course, and the back is actually for the oscillating mechanism. So as you can see here, there's a metal worm gear that turns this gear, which turns... Come on, camera. Ugh. Okay, this is the best I could do, I guess. Um, okay, it's a little bit better. Um, that turns, um, this, that's connected to a gear there, that turns this gear, and that does the oscillating. So, um, if I hold it up, well, I took the gearbox out. So it's basically, um, if you take the gear out, it won't oscillate. So this is what, it's pretty easy. So, pretty simple mechanism, so, um, I'm going to set it to the highest setting. You see, well not the highest, but um, okay now it's at the highest. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Okay, so um, see here, that gear right there does the oscillating. And when you remove it, that's how you turn off the oscillating. Normally, um, what works is, what happens is that um, let me just turn this off just to be sure, just to be safe, so I don't damage this piece, because I need this piece. So, um, what actually happens is that, um, let me just put this back in. Let me just get what I'm showing you. <laughs> so here's the gearbox cover. And, um, what happens is that, um, this will, um, stick. Let me show you what I mean. Let me just put this back on real quick. Okay. So, this, what happens is, um, when I turn it on, I turn on the lowest setting. It's oscillating, but when I, let me hold this, take it off. There we go. That's what it's supposed to do. This um, piece right here, there's a slot cut into this piece of plastic that in that piece holds that part so it doesn't um, go back down and that prevents the fan from not oscillating. Pretty cool, huh? Maybe not too cool. Not as cool as like, you know, the VCRs and all that, but uh... Still pretty nice. It's a pretty simple mechanism. Let's take a look here. Very nice. Nice and quiet. So that's going to conclude my video for today. Um, the reason why I actually took this apart is because I want to re-grease the uh, gears and the uh, and oil the and uh, and oil the motor's bearings. Because look, I mean, the grease they use, I don't like it. It's just, it's just. Look at it, it just. Well, I took most of it off already. It just has this very, like, stick, like, somewhat very thick grease. I have this, uh, here's the grease I use for my VCRs. Just, um, this is, I use this Super Lube Multi-Purpose Synthetic Grease, which, um, is a must-have and must-use on, like, most plastic parts and moving parts and all that. So, um, if you want to, like, grease a plastic gear or a VCR mechanism or any kind of mechanism, this is perfect for that. Okay. 
So yeah, that's going to conclude for today's video, um, and I hope you guys learned something new. And um, if you want to see more videos like that, like, I, oh my, yeah, I, I really want to say, I really am sorry for not uploading uh, VCI reviews. It's been a long time since I've done that. You see, since ever since I turned 18, I've been um, getting, I've been very busy with a lot of, personal stuff and family stuff and all that and um I'm looking for a job right now as well so um I'm not going to be uploading as much anymore but um but don't worry I'm not dead I'm not this channel's not going to be dead this channel's still going to be uh, going to be active I will still be posting up fucked up VCR videos because I go to thrift stores often I still haven't lost touch of my uh taste of VCRs and, um, and my buddy, my late friend, Mr. Minioscope, would want me to continue with this stuff. I mean, yeah, he would, he would want me to continue with the VCR stuff, but, um, he would understand, like, if I have to stop for a reason, um, I would have to stop, but I'm not quitting. I'm still making videos, but I won't be as active. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Sorry for all the talking and all that. And uh, I will see you guys later. Be kind, rewind.